I watched this video, my feelings got hurt. I'll be honest with you. Try to get some more light up in this room. Now, I'm an OG, so I'll be honest with you, I'm too old for you. You're the good looking young lady who just wants to be with a man. Let me tell you something about men. Where you looking for one? Hmm? The way you looking? Honest. Where you looking for a man at? On your way to you know, spot, on your way to work work, or on your way to school, on your where on your way to where are you looking for men? You you know, on the way to the store and see a brother looking good. Hey man, how you doing? Hey bitch, wanna hey I can understand how you feel. Hard head motherfuckers who talk a good game, but when it's time to play, they can't make it through the free throw line. You know what I'm saying? So, um, all I can do is give you this little bit of advice, young lady. Stop looking for a man. You don't, you is not ugly. I'm gonna tell you like I told Black Diabolique. You ain't ugly. What's the problem? I'm going to tell you the problem because you ain't ugly. You might dress provocative. I don't know. I've only seen you from here to there. <laughs> you might talk too hard. I don't know. I've only heard you speaking about 10, 15 videos. <laughs> you get rough. The only place I truly think a woman can find a good man and I want to blatantly be as honest as physically possible. If you are a good woman in any way, shape, or form, a good man will find you. You could be in the supermarket. He could be just walking across the parking lot on the way in, and you could be on the way out. Hey, how you doing? You look familiar. What's your name? Oh, I don't know you, but you know what? You cute today and keep walking. That's a good man. A man that can look at you, comment, and keep walking is probably somebody who you might want to waste your time to say, Hey, what's your name? Because there got a lot of guys out there who look at you and say, Damn, she's a good looking girl. She won't have nothing to do with me. He walked back across that parking lot, get in his old 1995 whatever car he got, drives back to his little apartment, and goes to sleep by himself. I ain't saying he would have had enough guts to say something to you that you'd be home sleeping with somebody. Don't give me that way. But what I want to say is this. A lot of young women will not talk to the man that talks to them. If a guy says, hey, how you doing? Oh, he's corny, girl. Don't fuck with him. The next chick will throw you off, and then eight months from later, you'll be mad if you see him with a white woman. I said it. Or a Mexican chick. He's dating outside his race. Look at him. He ain't no good. He tried to talk to you last week. <laughs> yep. So, don't feel the way you feel. You look good, but you also look like you can have an attitude. You also look like the wrong people would gravitate towards you. Apparently in that one video, I watched some of it, and you were saying you needed a bed or whatever, you stopped by your job. You have a look like look like a pretty clean job. And that person that you was talking to, she looked cool. She looked like a cool person. You surround yourself with good people at work all day. That's another place where you might be able to meet somebody. Not to fuck with, but to go out. Because ten, ten times out of nine, nine times out of ten, that person, that, that young man that works in your office might have some friends that also work. You might be able to find a man at work, through a man at work, without being with a man at work. Don't get your meat where you get your bread. You got it? Like I said, you are not ugly. You should not have any problem finding a good man. The thing is, with some young black women, they tend to gravitate around the men that they're used to seeing a lot. Say you had a hard-headed brother. There you have it. You might 
not you're not going don't get me wrong you're not going to be attracted to your brother but if you're around hard-headed guys enough you can deal with a hard-headed man because it's in your mental makeup because you deal with a hard-headed guy every day so in the street you see a hard-headed guy you're like eh, shit ain't no different than my brother and you tend to might want to date this guy who ends up lying to you and talking shit just like <laughs> your brother you've seen him do to other girls or what have you all I know is this I'm tired of seeing young ladies claim they can't find a good black man or a man you use the word niggas a lot in this video and I am sorry for every black man out there because to me assuming that you want a black man based on the way you said niggas would automatically make me say that any man that you're looking for is black because you use the word nigga. And I apologize for every black man out there because I'm telling this woman how to get a man. And she says she don't want no regular everyday sorry ass nigga. Well, does that mean you want to go to a white guy? Does that mean you want to go lesbian like you said? The only problem I see that you have is patience you can't wait but you have to don't rush yourself into something you don't want to be in don't just be doing something because it's available don't have fun just to be having fun you tear one more piece of that pillow of oh, it dog is eating pillows now and that, that damn pillow stuff and stuff is all over the house well like I'm saying young lady I'm gonna keep watching your shows but I hate seeing young sisters go through this dilemma like I said you will find a man the one that speaks to you and walks away talks to you says a few words and leaves you alone he's not trying to make contact for nothing He's making the first contact because he doesn't know how to make the second contact. So, next time a nerdy looking mama's boy walk up to you and say hi, don't listen to nobody else. Say hi back. Because if you're aggressive enough to pull a knucklehead out of a club and expect him to be a man, then you should be aggressive enough to take a scary man and find out what he's scared of until then and until next time I want you to keep me uh, posted posted post dated <laughs> I want you to tell me what happens I want you to tell me if my theories are correct cuz I I'm a man and it's been a many a time when I was single that you know there's a woman I like and instead of just saying, you know, I like you, let's do something. I said, how are you doing today? You know what? You look nice. You keep on smiling. And I walked away. And I do that. I will say something nice and walk away. And if the woman wanted to speak to me, then she'd say something. Now, my wife, she was at the park when I met her. And um, she had a little niece with her. And she's at the park. And me, I was ghetto fine. I saw this black woman at the park. Yeah, she cool, you know. She got ain't. Yeah. Oh, she got a baby. Damn, just another one of them. I was wrong. Wasn't her baby? Um, I said a few words to her, and I'm like, you know, I'm with my boys over here, and you know, they hard headed, and um, I don't want to bring them around you, so <laughs> I'm just gonna say hi. How you doing? And you know, if you ever want to talk to me, I work over here. At blah blah blah. Oh, let me tell you what blah 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 was. McDonald's. When I met my wife, I worked at McDonald's. So, I didn't think she was ever gonna come see me. Then I see this black chick come in. She had these. She was hot. She was on fire that day. And she walked up to me. How you doing? And I completely forgot who the hell she was because I was looking in her chest mode. Stupid man time. Looking at the titties of her. You grow up. And eventually, you'll find what you want. So, you've been tubed.